This is the f uh, fourth part of my Syslogan G tutorial. I hope that since the previous part of my tutorial, you su successfully installed Syslogan G. In this part, we will finally work with Syslogan G, not just learn about the theoretical background. Uh, we will do uh, some basic configuration and testing. Anytime I try to explain the Syslogan G configuration, my initial recommendation is don't panic. It, it is simple and logical, even if it looks difficult at first sight, and often also at the second sight. The system engine configuration uh, follows uh, the pipeline model. There are many different building blocks, sources, destinations, filters, parsers, and so on. <coughs> These building blocks are connected into pipelines using log statements in the configuration. You can have multiple pipelines and use the same building blocks in multiple log statements. Let me show you the syslogng uh, configuration file, which is pretty minimal, but still contains most of the typical configuration elements. It has everything to generate a typical var log messages file from the default log sources of the host. We will learn about the various elements in further uh, detail later. In this part, I only give you a quick overview. The syslogng configuration starts with a version number declaration. It ensures that uh, syslogng works as expected even after an upgrade. You can include other configuration file. SCL in the scl.conf file, uh, file name uh, stands for syslogng configuration library. Many syslogng drivers are defined in SCL, not, not in the code. You need this, for example, for the Elasticsearch destination. You can place comments uh, in the configuration uh, using a hashtag. You can also set global options uh, at the beginning of the configuration. Many of these can be overridden in the configuration later. Next, you can find a couple of building blocks, a source, a destination, and a filter. The configuration ends with a log statement, which connects the three building blocks together. As mentioned before in the syslogng configuration overview, SCL stands for syslogng configuration library. Uh, it is a collection of syslogng configuration snippets shipped together with syslogng. Some drivers are defined here, which work like any other syslogng driver from the user's point of view. Application adapters, which is the syslogng term for automatic message parsing, are also defined here. Some of the more interesting features defined in SCL are the Elasticsearch destination, sudo log parsing, and credit card number anonymization. A syslog engine normally runs in a uh, as a service. It starts in the background by default. On a system uh, uh, Linux system, you can use systemctl start to start syslog engine and systemctl stop to stop it. Over 80% of syslogng users uh, use a systemd uh, Linux system, so uh, that is what we use here as an example. Similar tools exist on other Linux and BSD systems as well. When working on your uh, syslogng configuration, you will use syslogng directly. Uh, here are some of the syslogng command line options we will uh, use during the syslogng tutorial. Minus S uh, does syntax, che syntax checking and helps you uh, spot configuration errors before a configuration goes live. Note that it cannot find all the problems like a typo in the in a source uh, source name. Minus capital F starts syslogng in the foreground. Minus VDE provides you with extra information on the terminal about what syslogng is doing. Minus, minus F, uh, path to configuration, allows you to use an alternate configuration instead of the default. You will often test uh, new syslogng configurations in the foreground. This way you can find configuration problems faster and easier. You can also easily stop uh, syslogng using Ctrl C. There are various tools you can use to test syslogng. Logger can send a single, a single message. 
This uti utility is usually installed as part of the operating system. The exact command line options vary from system to system. Logcan is a benchmarking and diagnostic tool bundled uh, with syslogng. It can generate log messages or read from files. Do the testing on a host where logging is not a mission crit critical function, as logging will often be uh, unavailable while testing. As a first step, we stop uh, the running syslog implementation. Most likely it's uh, syslogng, so uh, systemctl stop syslogng should work. Keep in mind, uh, there are also some operating systems which allow multiple syslog implementations to be installed in parallel, so your mileage may vary. Stop the running syslog ng, uh, stopping the running uh, syslog, ng, uh, syslog allows you to uh, use the same syslog configuration uh, on any operating system to collect uh, log messages. Uh, the syslogng configuration is usually stored in etc uh, syslogng, syslogng.conf or in a similar directory. However, uh, in this tutorial we leave the, uh, this configuration alone and create other configuration files. Either disable AppPermor or SE Linux for syslogng or store your configuration uh, configurations in the same directory as the default syslogng configuration. Using your favorite text editor, save the configuration you have seen at the beginning of this tutorial to a file called first.conf, then start syslogng using this configuration in the foreground uh, with debug messages. Then from another terminal use logger to send the test message. When you check uh, the var log messages file, the test message should be there close to the end of the file. On the left hand side you can see the uh, configuration, uh, then we stop syslogng uh, and start syslogng again uh, with the um, just created configuration file in the foreground. Then we switch to the other terminal and send the test, test message and uh, check uh, the end of the file and we can see that the test message is there. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment uh, here uh, on YouTube or reach out to me uh, on Twitter or Mastodon.